Kristen, tell me what this hiring season was like for you at Great Adventure in terms of every year you have tons of temporary positions. How difficult has it been to fill them this year? We really never stop hiring because our, our season lasts really all year long. So this season's been challenging, like for all New Jersey businesses. And sometimes I think as we're uh, coming out of the pandemic, it, it becomes more and more challenging as businesses are opening up more to their full capacity. Uh, same with us, you know, we, we really barely took a pause during uh, the start of the pandemic, but now we are, you know, fully back and engaged. And so we're looking for up to 4,000 team members to service our guests. And we're doing anything and everything that we can possibly do to get the best quality employees out there to serve our guests. Now, I know you had a big hiring uh, event in March. How did that go? We posted a series of job fairs, uh, a series of auditions as well for our entertainment team, and everything has been going quite well. We've implemented a series of uh, changes this year to, to keep attracting employees, to keep that, uh, that interest coming and applicants flowing in. And it's ranging anywhere from uh, creating a new text to hire campaign. So our team members can now just simply text uh, an application on their phones, which is a great way to reach young people. And we certainly employ a very large amount of high school and college students. So this tactic's been really successful for us. The, the good old fashioned way of simply going out there and recruiting and meeting people face to face still works really well. And in fact, we think it works better than virtually reaching out, but it's great to have something, have techniques that can really reach everybody. So we will continue to host these events throughout our season. You know, we're moving into the summer now, but then we're going to be going into Fright Fest. And that's actually our busiest time of the year, believe it or not, the fall. So that's a huge ramp up time again. And then we go into our winter season for holiday in the park. So it truly never ends. So in terms of trying to convince people to take a job at Great Adventure when, let's say, they have job offers somewhere else, what have you had to do to sweeten the pot to make your employer look attractive? When it comes down to your wallet, um, we've definitely made a lot of increases when it comes to wages, and some of the largest increases have been in areas that we consider most critical. So you'd be talking about your ride operations, food service, security. Those are among the positions that have taken some of the largest increases since 2020. So we have actually made increases in 2020, 2021, and 2022. And most team members are actually starting now between $15 and $20 an hour, which could be a considerable increase consider, uh, compared to pre-pandemic levels. And in terms of wages staying there, um, does that seem to be a permanent move as far as you can tell, given what we're seeing with the labor market? The wages will definitely stay and we'll continue to look for other perks that we can give them, such as uh, whether it's paid certification, like for our lifeguard training, free tickets for our friends and family, um, private parties for them and their friends. Kristen, so good to catch up with you to find out what's happening on the hiring front there. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.